Okie doke folks. Here, uh, we're on our way up to Poo Poo Point from that uh, second Abney unit that we looked at down there with uh, the vegetation control example. And we've come across one of the many landslides that we had over this past um, <clears throat> winter because we had so much rainfall. And this landslide here um, was actually reinforced with this rock wall that was put in post slide and then we had another failure of the rock wall. So this has a lot of activity going on uh, on it. And you can see, uh, you know, how those trees that were once uh, along here, just like this tree here and that tree there, have now slid down the hillside here. And this is a classic example of um, a lot of material, glacial um, outwash material on that compacted glacial till um, layer, which is probably just resting below there where that, that first um, tree is, is down. And uh, I don't have um, an excavator here, otherwise we could probably dig out some of that material. A lot of that, the compacted glacial till um, region or lens is, is probably covered in a lot of the material that is uh, known as, you know, our topsoil, our first meter or so of, of soil in this area. And so it's going to be difficult to get to. Um, that said, uh, the, one of the main reasons uh, besides the compacted glacial till, the thing that impacts that is water, right? And so we have a bank over here, steep bank. This road is very steep going up. It's a steep road. Whenever we have water uh, coming out of this bank here, which we do quite often, you can see the ditch is wet and it's been sunny and 70 for a week now and we're still having water seeping out of, of this area here, which is getting into the road prism, probably going underneath through the road prism and then getting in between that compacted glacial till and also the, the material on top, the, the glacial outwash material, the sandy material. You can see here is another, um, <clears throat> we call this like a side cast failure here, but if you look down, you can see as well that this uh, has slid, has failed as well. And um, again, steep bank, lots of moisture, lots of water, hitting a compacted glacial till underneath the road, you know, subsurface flow even underneath the road and it has kicked out all that material, caused it to slide off and down the hill. Um, and a lot of that was due just from the ton of rain that we had. We had a super wet winter and um, water does what water does. It finds the path of least resistance. And sometimes that path takes it between glacial compacted till and coarser sandier material on top. And when you get the weight from also from rain uh, building up the weight in that soil above the compacted glacial till layer, uh, you get landslides like this pretty textbook landslide uh, that we tried to fix and it failed even again. You can see it slumped down here, this rock wall, that retaining wall that we put in. So we're gonna have to come back and do some more work on this and get it repaired. But here is a example of one landslide of many that we're gonna see this quarter. We had about a dozen landslides um, on our property that we know of 
um, this past winter and there are two or three along this road.